Yes. Were you convinced this morning in listening to uh, the interview with Mr. Solomon, both that he has the right strategy to get Goldman clicking again and that he's the right guy to do it? Uh, I don't feel confident on either front based on today. I mean, you know, it's really you have to prove it with action over time. And uh, one interview today isn't going to change what has happened over the last couple of years in terms of the way Goldman has performed and what's happened to its reputation and image over the last decade, for sure. So still a long way to go, I'd say. How much time does he have to do the turnaround that you think is needed? I don't think he's got much time. I mean, starting to get pressure from partners, if the culture is the same as I knew it, once partners start to rattle the cages, uh, things are starting to go the wrong way for him. I, I, I think he could clearly turn it around. It seems sometimes like he's distracted with other things. The the DJing and, you know, focusing on other things is not good for the image of the bank or for him. And I think he needs to bear down pretty much on really focusing on Goldman and trying to get it back to where it needs to be. The interesting thing, Paul, is, is the humbling in some ways of the organization. You know, those of us who were formed by its reputation in the early 2000s and the 90s when you worked with them, it was... It, it had such gravitas that it was the subject of, you know, the famous Matt Taibbi article claiming it brought down the entire economy. And, and you know, does it have the same status today? And if not, why? And, and what would your advice be to try to either get back to those days or to accept that maybe they're never going back? Yeah, it may be impossible to get back to those days. I mean, the mystique surrounding it when it was a partnership, uh, you know, like they still attract hundreds of people for every job they have open and it's still a sought after employer, but it doesn't have that same mystique that only a handful of organizations in the world have. Whether they can ever get back there or not is really dependent upon how they look at the world. And I think part of their problem is they just don't really have a good grasp of how communications works in the 21st century, like worrying about leaks when, you know, everybody has access to everything. You need to be more transparent about what you're doing. So they clearly can't go back to the days when information was so tightly held as it was in the late 90s when, you know, I knew the organization. But they need to find a way to thread that needle, to try to get Goldman to be a more respected institution than it is today. And, and for the leader of the organization, whether it's Solomon or someone else, to have a little bit more of the gravitas that goes along with being in that position. Let's, let's uh, compare it with its arch rival, Morgan Stanley, which kind of doubled down on asset and wealth management, which now seems like where Goldman is going to put a lot of its emphasis. Meantime, Goldman, uh, over the past decade, uh, went in uh, arguably off brand into consumer finance and consumer banking. Is it too late now uh, to, to, to turn this ship around and do what it needs to do? Which Absolutely is not. No. Absolutely not. Okay. I don't think so. I mean, look, this is one of the premier organizations in the world. The people who work there, world class. And, you know, if if they have the right strategy and the right leadership, I'm convinced this organization can do anything it wants. And, you know, right now, this is what's uh, successful for Morgan Stanley. And I've also worked with Morgan Stanley in the past. But I, I think whether that's going to be the future and, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But Goldman certainly can get back into that business and crush it. I think the consumer business was a distraction, totally off brand from what I know about Goldman. And if they were going to do it, they needed to do it at a much higher and more prestigious level than they did enter the market. Why, Paul, did you just hint there that you don't actually think we should, you know, go, take it to the bank, the idea that wealth management is the future for Morgan and Goldman? I don't think it's the only thing that's going to bail them out here. They're going to need to do more than that. I mean, look, Goldman could certainly get into wealth management and, and do better at it than just about anybody else. But then what happens when, you know, other things become more important and the investment banking business comes back? So they can't get rid of their core businesses and the things that made this organization great while they try to figure out ways to increase revenue in a tight marketplace. I mean, you have to, your strategy has to transcend what's going on in the marketplace, right, to be successful. And Goldman was always good at that. And I can't imagine that they're not going to figure out very quickly how to settle themselves and get back to business. All right, Paul Argenti, thank you for your time and thoughts today.